Welcome to ATS Critical Care Lit Bits, where we break down the literature bit by bit. I'm Shiv Patel, the Web Committee Apprentice of the ATS Critical Care Assembly, and today we'll be reviewing the BALANCE trial published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2024. It was designed to answer the question, in critically ill patients with bloodstream infections, should treatment with antibiotics be 7 or 14 days? The takeaway of the trial is that 90-day mortality was equal in both groups, but let's dive a little bit deeper into the data. BALANCE was a multi-center randomized intention to treat non-inferiority trial across 65 hospitals in the U.S., Canada, and Australia. Over 3,600 floor and ICU patients with predominantly gram-negative bacteremia were randomized to 7 versus 14 days of treatment once they were clinically stable. These were adults with positive blood cultures who had received adequate source control if needed and had stabilized enough that stopping antibiotics at 7 days could be considered. The main outcome of 90-day mortality showed nearly identical results. The 7-day group had 29% mortality and the 14-day group had 28.9%, confirming that 7-day treatment was non-inferior to 14. It's important to note that no significant differences in relapse of infection, readmissions, or serious adverse events were found, but shorter therapy meant less antibiotic exposure overall, possibly reducing risks like antibiotic resistance and C. diff. These results held true across subgroups, including source of bacteremia, immunocompromised status, and type of pathogen. 55% of the patients were in the ICU, 70% of the infections were gram-negative, with the rest evenly divided as gram-positive or polymicrobial. The most common pathogens were E. coli and Klebsiella, and 75% of the patients were coming in from the community. These results were aligned with studies by Yahav, Von Dach, and Molina, who all published smaller RCTs while Balance was undergoing recruitment. Balance's sample size, non-inferiority margin of only four points, and inclusion of ICU patients extends their evidence that shorter treatment duration to critically ill patients is reasonable. So what's the takeaway? The Balance trial showed that a clinician-driven seven-day antibiotic treatment strategy was non-inferior to a 14-day strategy among hospitalized patients with bloodstream infections. Shorter can be safer and is now strongly evidence-based. Thanks for listening. Like and follow for more high-impact trial summaries in critical care.